So today's video is going to be an introduction video. I actually have two introduction videos coming your way. It's very difficult to do this video if like I don't have someone here with me. This is so, so awkward to do. Jordan, why did you put me in this situation? Just like a little update before we get into um, the video. It's been two weeks since Jordan has left and um, went back up to North Carolina. For those of you that don't know, Jordan is Tyler's oldest son. So my oldest stepson, but I don't claim them as my stepchildren. I just say my children. He went back up to North Carolina with his mom. That's where he lives. Everything is kind of like back to normal down here with us. We are actually going to be getting the kids ready for school they will be starting in exactly five days of filming this <laughs> so school for them starts on august the 10th we have just been getting ready for that anyway <laughs> so today's video is going to be an introduction video i actually have two introduction videos coming your way so this one will be for jordan so this one is definitely different um my other introduction videos i started like first like push them out first that was like my first videos that way like you guys knew like who we were and it wasn't just like oh so yeah blah 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 um anyway i don't know jordan is a very very shy child <laughs> um so he actually thought that it would be super like weird and uncomfortable for him to sit in front of the camera and just like talk like how i did the other introduction videos and that's perfectly fine, but he did say that I can do this. He just didn't want to be a part of this part. He just feels uncomfortable with that, which I completely understand. I was, and sometimes I still am. Um, like yesterday, I was going to record this yesterday, but I ended up being like really nervous about it. And then today I'm like perfectly fine. I don't know. Anyway, but I grew up as a shy child too. I still am very shy, so I totally get it. Um, but... He said I could do this, and he said he doesn't mind, like, doing, like, him being in the videos. He doesn't mind that at all. It's just, like, him and, like, all the attentions on him and him being singled out, he doesn't. Which, like I said, I completely understand. Today's video is going to be his introduction, just without him. <laughs> Jordan is 16. He's going to be 17 in December. December 3rd is his birthday. I, of course, was with Tyler um, since Jordan was 8 years old, actually. But it wasn't until he was 11 that I actually got to meet him. Long story short, Tyler and Jordan's mom just don't get along. When I got with Tyler, I was like, we're going to fix this. Like, I can't, we can't do this. He is our child. Like, he needs to know and spend time with us. And, like, I try to be as normal as a family as we can with him being um, states away. Around 11 is when um, we, I actually, like, obviously, like, talking on the phone and like video calling and stuff like that i met him like throughout that time until like we got him when we got him he was 11. so like face to face in person that was my first time meeting him at 11. and we actually got him for this not the whole summer i think it was like two weeks of the summer the first time which um is understandable i'm not mad about that or anything like that now if like that were to try and happen now like yes it would be very upset if we just got two weeks out of the two months of summer but that's not the case now <laughs> that was just like first introductory obviously he doesn't know me his mom doesn't know me um it's just like a trial thing to see how it goes obviously um i would be the same way like no lie no judgment i would be the same way so we have him for like two maybe three weeks out of the summer the first time we had him and it was great he's always been super shy but it doesn't take him that long to warm up to someone he's just like initially shy once like you break the ice then it's like he's perfectly fine like not shy anymore but no problems whatsoever i got super lucky with that with all three of my boys i got super lucky there's a lot of cases out there where the step parent um, isn't that nice of a step parent, or the kids, even if the step parent is nice, just doesn't accept the step parent, and that's never been an issue with me, so I got super lucky with that. <laughs> After the first time, we started getting him pretty regularly for the summer, 
and um, then we got him for a Christmas before we went up to see him for Christmas he loves Fortnite um, he's actually really good at that game um, um, his dad and I have told him multiple times like he should start um, like filming like recording himself play and uploading it and like entering competitions which he's already started entering competitions we are like super proud of that for him if it's something that he wants to do, then like we're all about it. The same with Tyson and Brandon. He loves video games. He's a good student. Obviously, we don't have him during the school year, so from what we hear from him and his mom, he is a good student. He does like spicy foods, like the hot wing challenge, that was totally his idea, but I was all down for it, and so were his brothers. He loves adventure, at least from my perspective, it seems like he loves adventure. If we're gonna go do something, like he's all about doing it, it's not, oh, I wanna stay home and play video games, like Tyson sometimes. Um, he is definitely someone who likes to be out and about. He seems to like um, adrenaline, at least from the roller coasters and the water slides that he's been on that he tries to get me on and I'm like, over my dead body. <laughs> yeah no so on my perspective of an adrenaline junkie he him he is right there he fits in with his dad and his brothers with that because that is not me um at all <laughs> he likes music uh he likes rap music pretty sure he likes other stuff too but I'm pretty sure his favorite is rap <laughs> his favorite color is blue just like tyson and taylor and that's so funny because tyler's favorite color is not blue so it's so funny that all three of his kids like the color blue. I don't know what is going on with this side of my head, but yeah. I thought I could like do a cute little curl, but it stayed for so long and as I start vlogging and of course it wants to mess up. This side over here is doing great. I, I whatever. Anyway, this is like so difficult and so awkward to do without him here to put like his input in. It is so like, I'm literally like about to call him. <laughs> But I want to respect like him not being like in the video or like being a part of this video. I totally want to respect that so I don't want to like call him and have him on the phone and like I don't want to do that. Even though he probably would be okay with that. His first initial one was this and I don't want him to think that like I'm pushing for the video, you know what I mean? So. Hey babe. It's very difficult to do this video if like I don't have someone here with me. She likes soccer. He played soccer for a while. He's a weird kid. He's a weird kid. He likes Fortnite. Yeah, I said that. He loves Sony PlayStation. Yeah, he loves Sony. He loves a new PlayStation. We just got him. PlayStation 5. He doesn't like chocolate. Here's a weirdo. And that's perfect for him to fit into this family because we're all weirdos. So he fits right in. <laughs> He's right at home with the rest of us weirdos. Like anytime he has a birthday and like we're around, we always like try to get like two different cakes or because I don't want to like do half and half like it's his birthday it's his birthday cake he shouldn't have to do with chocolate in his cake you know what I mean this is so, so awkward to do Jordan why did you put me in this situation so he's not here 24 7 so he's not getting used to like being on YouTube and like recording and having the camera he's not really used to any of that so I'm still trying to like keep as much information as I can um or like as little information to give you for right now until like he's comfortable with everything you know what I mean so he does like coming to Florida obviously um, he was born here regardless of him living up to North Carolina he is a natural born Floridian <laughs> um, he moved up there after he was born obviously which is kind of weird but funny for me to think about because my childhood was kind of the same I was born in Florida, okay, and then my mom and dad split, and my mom moved up north, stayed with Jordan. My mom moved a little bit further away, though. We moved to Nebraska. Why? Okay, I don't know. But we moved there, and so um, I spent some time going back and forth, um, like visiting my dad, coming down. I did not do the plane, though. I did bus. I took the Greyhound from Nebraska to Florida. When I say I'm a scared cat, I'm a scared cat. Uh, the only time I ever, I was only on a plane once, and that was with Tyler in 2017 in our vacation. And now that I got it over with, I wouldn't mind doing it again. But back then, when I was little, there was no way you were getting me on a plane. So, I, like, definitely relate with that of, you know, not being able to live with both my parents. One, 
me living in a completely different state than the state I was born in and the state that the rest of my family lives in, I completely get that. He likes Takis. We actually we went grocery shopping while he was still down here with us. And um, we asked him like what did he want for a snack because like I said he doesn't like chocolate. So I know for a fact like what this household eats as snacks and like the boys will really eat almost anything and Tyler included. So we're not really that picky down here if we get multiple things too, like different snacks too. So if there's one thing that you don't like, there could be like five other things that you will like. So, but with him being more picky, we asked him like what he wanted and he was like Takis. So we got him like this big box of like five different like kinds of Takis and yeah, so he enjoyed that. <laughs> and he does desperately like want a pet which is why like when he's down here he's with us he's always like asking me are you gonna get any more dogs are you gonna get any more dogs because he loves playing with them and blue loves him i have quite a couple of pictures of him and blue just like cuddled together super cute he wants a dog so i'm happy that at least while he's down here he can have that satisfaction of having a pet with him because like i grew up with dogs all my life i had pit bulls i've had yorkies i've had rottweilers like i've had animals i have cats too i've had fish and i just could not have imagined a childhood growing up without an animal i'm so glad that when he's down here with us i can not only provide the, our own animals that we have here but also through my job of dog sitting other people's dogs um he has other dogs to interact with and pet and enjoy i mean the one of the reasons why i do and it's like the very like little tiny like on the bottom of reasons why i do rover is because i humans live a lot longer than cats and dogs yes but there's no way on earth i'm gonna be able to own every single dog breed or every single cat breed that there is in my lifetime so being able to watch other people's pets i'm able to interact with new breeds that i may have never been able to interact with or maybe never came across as a pet owner myself you know what i mean so it's cool and I'm glad that the boys get to experience that. Jordan has always been very respectful, very well-mannered. Anytime I ask him to do something, he gets up and does it. There is no talking back. Even if it's something that I see, like, on his face, he does not want to do. Like, if I tell him, oh, hey, Jordan, can you go wash the dishes? No one wants to wash dishes. Or if I say, hey, Jordan, can you take the trash out? That's an easier task. So, like, that, he'll be like, okay. But if I ask him to wash dishes and there's, like, a sink full of dishes, then he's like okay but like you can see on his face he doesn't want to do it but he will not come out his mouth and say like i'm not doing that or i don't want to do it he has just always been always been super respectful at least for me <laughs> and his dad and even when his brothers get on his nerves like he's always been a good big brother too super cute super cute i love my boys it's always an absolute joy absolute joy to have him with us i feel like our little family is complete when he's here like i said i just want to respect like him his privacy him being shy but like i don't want to get like too into like his personal for one i don't want anyone to be upset of anything that i might say um and i don't want him to be like embarrassed of everything i might say so i just try to put like very vaguely who jordan is like, i'll be uploading a video my final introductory video for right now anyway for a while to come hopefully is our new pet I'll explain all of that in his, it's a boy, I'll explain all of that in his um, video or his introductory vlog, so make sure you stay tuned for that, and if you are enjoying my vlogs, please don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and the like button, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next one, bye!